That was a little too hard, huh? What's up, GQ? This is Ryan Garcia here, and these are my essentials. Yes, this is my little locket. It uh, represents faith for me. I got it from uh, one of my family members. It says, uh, may God be with you always. I'm originally from Victorville, California. I grew up there. You know, it was a journey because in Victorville, you know, it's tough out there. You know, it's not like the easiest place to grow up. So I had just faith in God that if I keep working hard, you know, I could make a way for myself. So my faith in God is something I need. It's essential. It keeps me grounded, it keeps me humble, and just focus, you know, it keeps me very focused. Can't go without these bad boys, my boxing gloves. Of course, it's essential in my life. It's all I do. I just keep punching people with these, so um, I need these everywhere I go, you know, because you never know when you're gonna need them, you know? You're never gonna know when you need your boxing gloves. No boxing, no life. I mean, that says it all, you know? Without boxing, there ain't no life, you know? For me, at least. Yeah, I train with these all the time. These are the gloves I train with. They're with me Monday through Saturday, so uh, these are my, my go-to gloves. It's just the comfortability of them, you know? These, uh, you could grip your, your hand really, really strong in these and um, you know it makes for a better punch a better snap like you know just a better hit better feel gotta have my headphones gotta have the music you know listening before a fight or warming up you know gotta have my my music in my ears keeping me motivated uh, I play everything I love all type of music Taylor Swift shoot I got Chris Brown I got Justin Bieber I got everybody in my music playlist, so, you know, music's super important to me. It could bring your mood high, and it could bring your mood low, you know, music could do anything to you, it's crazy, so. I listen to Frank Sinatra before my fight a lot, and also listen to worship music, so both of those I need, it's weird, it's a weird combination. One of the most important things for me is my family, you know, they keep me grounded, they keep me humble, they always make sacrifices with me. I got my little brother, Sean, right here. He's just a little knucklehead. He's always having fun with me. He's like my best friend. My mom, Lisa, always giving me hugs and stuff and making sure, you know, I feel comfy. I got my dad, he's also my trainer. And, you know, he's been training me since I was seven. My sister, Sasha, she's a character. Very stern, is Sasha. Got my older sister, Demi. She's always, you know, looking out for me, always making sure I, I'm doing things right. And, my, of course, my baby sister, Kayla, the baby of the family. You got. My daughter, of course, new motivation for me, and uh, she holds a special place in my heart, and everything I do is for her, so it's very important to me. Having a big family is fun, you know? You always have somebody to hang out with, always somebody to talk to, so I love having such a big family. These are my off-white Air Force, and um, these are my favorite. You know, my favorite color is blue, and so when I seen these off-whites, I was like, I gotta get these. These are essential, you know, these are comfortable. You could wear them every day. You could go with the joggers with these, or throw on some jeans, whatever you really, you know, are feeling that day. These could go with anything, you know. You could really dress up really nice and throw these on, and they're gonna compliment them, just because, I mean, they're off-whites. I mean, you can't. Look at them, they're beautiful. Like, you, you wear anything with these. This is my Nintendo Switch. I don't really play a lot of video games, but I do play the Nintendo Switch. It got Super Smash Brothers. I use Mario, that's my go-to guy. He's fluid, you know, he's fast, and like, he could, like, he could be in any position. He could back kick, he could uh, front smash, he could do anything at any moment, so that's why I like him, he's so fluid. I'm telling you, I'm a beast in Super Smash. I, mean, I don't really know anybody that could beat me. I take all challengers, whoever's watching this video. If you wanna play me, you know, sign up, you know. This is Naruto, baby. My favorite anime. I honestly, at first, I didn't know how much I would like Naruto, but just because I would see like everybody talk about it, I'm like, ah, I don't know. It looks a little lame, not gonna lie. Well, I wasn't, of course, Dragon Ball Z. Everybody's into the, ah, Kame, Kame, ah. You know, that crazy stuff. But then I was like, you know, I want something more, you know, more like of a storyline. So, you know, I looked into Naruto and the storyline of the show was amazing. And, you know, it actually made me cry a couple times. Nobody believed in him. He wanted to be, you know, the best Hokage. 
and they just didn't give him a chance. And you know, he had to prove it to everybody. So that's how I feel, you know? They're not giving me a chance. They don't truly believe that I'm gonna become the best. So, you know, this is big inspiration to me, Naruto. And you know, I will be the best in the world one day. And you know, you gotta believe it. Yep, this is my Rolex watch right here. I need this, you know, you need a good piece on your wrist, so. Funny story about this watch right here. My promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, he gifted me this on my 21st birthday, so it's pretty special to me, and uh, yeah, I wear it almost every day. I was a huge fan, uh, you know, as a little kid watching his fights, you know, I, fought, I watched him fight Mayorga, all those fights, so I was, I was super hyped. And, it was like a dream come true, it was cool. Well, the first time I met Oscar, I was around 18 years old. It's when he was uh, gonna sign me in. We went on uh, this little charity event for uh, these kids that you know needed to find a new inspiration, a new way, and Oscar had me do a speech for the kids, and while I was doing a speech for the kids, he came on the, beside me and gave me a contract for, uh, for five years to fight under his promotion. So I thought it was pretty cool, and it was a big event, a big day. So that was the first time I met Oscar. I think I want to, I want to like dive into it a little bit more, and you know, try to get a couple of different pieces. I like the one that Odell Beckham Jr. had. He was playing. That was cool. I actually, I want that now. It's my favorite dish. I have this meal actually before each of my fights because you know it stocks you up with energy. It's Italian food. I love Italian food. It's my favorite food. So yeah. I eat this all the time, and I still love it as many times as I eat it. Before I weigh in, I eat a lot of fish, lean uh, turkey, stuff like that. You know, it's very lean diet. It's not really that many carbs I could eat, so I usually eat this after my weigh-in. Weigh-ins before my fight, have fettuccine alfredo with the family, and get ready for the next night. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go after this. I kind of want to eat this right now. <laughs> Is it good enough to eat? Uh, it's been a little while, okay. but yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, and the last thing that I think is probably the most important is um, my mother's hugs. I know, I punch people in the face for a living, but you know, I love to have that, uh, that mother's love after the fight and stuff. Hey, Mom. <laughs> I know, I'm a bit back boxer, but you know, need the hugs. <laughs> Hey, this was Ryan Garcia and these were my essentials. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you soon at one of my fights. Thank you. Peace out. I'm out. <laughs>